A troubled woman tries to use her hemorrhoids to reunite her divorced parents by engineering a chance encounter. Helen Memel is skateboarding when her hemorrhoids start bothering her. Because of this, she stops at a filthy public restroom to take care of them. While inside, she remembers her childhood because her mother was very particular about hygiene. After cleaning the bathroom, young Helen went outside, where Mrs. Memel urged her to jump into her arms. However, instead of catching her, her mother let her fall to the ground and warned her to never trust anyone. Her confusing childhood caused Helen to reject many of the things that were taught to her, including hygiene. Now she takes pleasure in exposing herself to filthy situations. After treating herself, she gets some food and meets a random person. She then offers him a different type of meal together. After they finish, Helen takes a commemorative photo and heads home, being careful to preserve his parting gift. Still hungry, Helen satisfies herself with some vegetables. Afterwards, she takes a bath and then teases her younger brother, Tony. Then, Helen cultivates her avocado seeds, which she considers as family. In the living room is Mrs. Memel, unpacking her latest religious items with her new husband. Her mother has had many religious obsessions in the past, and the most recent one after her divorce is Catholicism. The doorbell rings and they meet their neighbor, Corina, welcoming them to the building. After a few crass words from Helen, Mrs. Memel closes the door, mortified at her daughter's behavior. Still, Corina and Helen became fast friends, though Helen remarks that Corina has a tendency to go for problematic men. Helen recounts Corina's previous ex, a heavy metal drummer, who had a particular fondness in band. However, word spread about their unorthodox intimate relation, causing their schoolmates to mock her. One day, Helen pays a visit to her wealthy father, Mr. Memel, and intrudes on his pleasurable time with his girlfriend. Due to her unconditional love for her parents, she's determined to reunite them someday. That night, she informs her father that she'll force him to reunite with her mother once he becomes infirm. However, her father simply laughs at the idea. During one of Tony's religious plays, Helen shares the same plan with her mother, but Mrs. Memel expresses disgust at the thought of being with her ex-husband again. The next day, Helen has a shaving accident on her lower region. She's excused from school and goes to the hospital, where she's abruptly examined by Dr. Knott. After receiving multiple opinions from his accompanying physicians, he informs her that she'll need to undergo surgery. Afterwards, Nurse Valerie has her sign forms for surgery. Helen expresses concern about the possibility of incontinence as a side effect. But the nurse assures her that it's a rare occurrence. Helen reflects on how her current situation is a result of shaving. She recalls that she wouldn't have started shaving if not for someone at work. Intrigued by her co-worker's invitation, she went to his dingy apartment and got an intimate shave. Moments later, after her recollection, Nurse Robin walks in and assists her in getting ready for her scheduled surgery. As he wheels her out to the operating room, Helen considers which hobby to sacrifice for surgery without any side effects. Inside the elevator, Valerie, who's actually Robin's ex-girlfriend, overhears them talking about something crass. However, Robin tries to explain himself but fails. Before the surgery, Robin and the patient banter for a bit until Helen writes her parents' numbers on the nurse's arm, instructing him to call them and make sure they're united at the bedside of their sick daughter. While under anesthesia, Helen recalls a memory from before Tony was born. Her family was at the beach and her father carelessly applied sunblock on her, resulting in a bad sunburn. That night, her father gave her an avocado seed which started her passion for avocados. Later, her mother told her to sleep on her own mattress because the bed was too cramped, and in the middle of the night, she heard her mother sob. Helen also remembers her seventh birthday when she played mediator between her parents during an argument after Tony's birth. Eventually, her attempts to reconcile them no longer worked, and her parents ended up divorcing, after which she was sent to boarding school. She recalls more recent events, like teaching Corina how to attract her crush, Michael. When Michael left, they proceeded to annoy Tony. During the two best friends bath together, Helen confessed that she underwent tubal litigation and didn't tell her parents about it. Once Karina went home, Helen took care of her avocados as Tony tossed and turned in bed. After the medical procedure, Helen wakes up to Robin informing her that the surgery was successful. However, he says that he couldn't reach her parents, though he did inform them about her condition. She then requests to keep the part of her that was removed during the surgery, stating that she doesn't want it to end up in the trash. Shh. <laughs> Robin promises to check if it's possible to fulfill her request. Soon, he wheels her back to her room. Along the way, he lets her listen to songs he made for Valerie. When Helen sees her clothes, it reminds her of her mother's fixation on clean underwear at the hospital. Helen imagines a scenario where her mother has a fatal accident, and her last thoughts would be if her underwear is clean. Afterwards, the eccentric woman inspects her unclean clothes, and Robin offers to have them washed. But she declines, saying they're still good for at least another week. Instead, she asks Robin 
Robin to encourage her parents to visit her, emphasizing the importance of them being together. Later, Valerie brings food to Helen, telling her to eat as regular bowel movements will aid her in her recovery. The next morning, Helen wakes up to find that she has soiled herself. She attempts to clean up as best she can, then calls for Robin's assistance. After helping her clean up, she asks him to take a picture of her wounds. Robin reluctantly agrees, but just as he finishes, Dr. Knotts enters the room. The doctor asks if she's had a bowel movement yet, to which Helen says no. The doctor sniffs around, skeptical, though Helen confidently lies that she hasn't. She then shows him a photo of her wound, but Dr. Knotts seems suspicious of the close-up angle and eyes Robin suspiciously. Despite this, he confirms that there were no complications during the surgery. When Helen mentions her concern about incontinence, Dr. Knotts is incredulous and asks if the wound is bleeding, so Helen replies that it isn't. Vindicated, the doctor then assures her that she's fine and will be discharged once she has a bowel movement. Just then, Mrs. Memel enters the room. Dr. Knotts introduces himself and shares the good news of the successful operation. However, Helen disagrees, but the doctor brushes off his patient's complaints and subtly attacks Mrs. Memel's parenting. Because of this, Mrs. Memel rebukes and dismisses the doctor. Stunned, the doctor diplomatically removes himself from the situation. Once the physician leaves, Helen remarks that the staff will now hate her. Then, Helen comments that her mother arrived too early and asks her to come back after work. She also requests that the crucifix in her room be taken down, but Mrs. Memel refuses. The daughter then feigns severe pain, prompting her mother to remove it. Right after, Mrs. Memel asks about her hemorrhoids, and her daughter responds that they're hereditary and that she's always had them. Her mother disagrees, stating that Helen didn't have them when she was young. Before leaving, Mrs. Memel takes out some of Helen's avocado plants, hoping it would make her room feel more homely. The avocado seed triggers a memory of her childhood love for soft textures and surfaces, and how she learned early on to only enjoy them in private. Later, Helen watches Robin as she plays with the avocado seed and starts to imagine it as a part of him. Suddenly, she envisions an avocado plant growing out of her. Helen reveals that despite her desire to have a child, her family history discourages her from doing so. She explains that the women in her family have all suffered from some form of mental illness, and she's relieved to have broken this cycle with her sterilization. She also recalls a past incident where her mother cried while preparing a large turkey for a big dinner with friends. Her father later commented at the dinner table that carving the turkey reminded him of Helen's birth, making the guests laugh except for Mrs. Memel. As they ate, Mrs. Memel showed the guest where she was carved and threw wine at her husband before storming off concluding Helen's recollection. The next day, Mr. Memel visits his daughter and brings a book about slugs, talking about how curious she used to be about them. When her father tells her that he dislikes hospitals, Helen tries to stall by asking him to read her the book, hoping her mother will arrive soon. However, Mr. Memel only reads a brief portion before saying he'll read the rest when she's discharged. As he leaves, Mrs. Memel arrives, and both profess their love to each other and kiss. However, this is only in Helen's imagination, and Mr. Memel leaves without much ado. Do. Soon, Robin visits Helen and they start talking about her exhibitionist tendencies. His patient playfully agrees, and the nurse comments that he wishes more women would be like her. Provocatively, she beckons him closer and tells a story of a brothel near her house. When she turned 18, she went there and chose a woman with copper hair. As Helen narrates the story, she immerses him in the experience. Suddenly, Valerie enters the room and Robin is visibly flustered. Without missing a beat, Valerie dismisses him and hands over the patient's food along with her post-op residue. After Robin leaves, Valerie menacingly informs Helen that it would be best if she had a bowel movement soon. She reminds her to throw away her residue properly, as it's highly infectious. To this, Helen's response is to praise Valerie's beautiful eyelashes which triggers a memory from her childhood. She remembers a time when she received compliments on her own long lashes, which visibly annoyed her mother. Later that night, she woke up to her mother cutting off her lashes. However, she's unsure if that was a dream or reality due to the many substances she's taken. One day, Michael mistakenly left his stash of illicit substances behind. So, Karina and Helen had a fun-fueled adventure that took them from their house to the subway, a club, and eventually ended with them in debt to Michael. Whereas Michael got in trouble with his suppliers and didn't talk to his friends for a while. During their adventure, Helen adopted a rat as a pet, but her mother's cleanliness didn't allow it for long. In retaliation, the vengeful woman considered killing her mother's new husband, but decided against it, realizing that it would only benefit her mother. After Helen's recollection, her mother visits her in the hospital later that night. Since her father isn't around, the daughter rudely tells her to come back tomorrow. Exasperated, Mrs. Memel hopes that Helen's daughter treats her similarly, unaware that she can't have children. 
Still hoping that her parents will cross paths, Helen asks her mother to come back the following day. After her mother leaves, Helen explores the hospital and stumbles upon the nurses celebrating Valerie's birthday. Before the doors close, she witnesses Valerie kissing Robin. Afterwards, Helen orders pizza and beer, threatening violent acts if the pizza isn't fresh. While waiting, she takes a ride outside the hospital with her skateboard, leaving her post-op residue as an offering on one of the hospital's religious statues. As she does, Helen remarks on how close she and Corina are, referring to each other as blood sisters, and remembers a moment together when they both had their period simultaneously. Soon after her reminiscence, the pizza arrives. When Robin sees that Helen ordered it, he spots her since she doesn't have any money. The delivery guy asks for a tip, to which Helen responds by cheerfully tossing insults at him and tells him to pass it on to the kitchen. While the patient and nurse eat, Helen explains her harsh treatment of the delivery guy. She tells a story about two girls who ordered pizza and treated the store badly when it failed to arrive on time. When it finally came, it tasted strange, so they had it analyzed and learned that the pizza had been contaminated with male fluids in retaliation. Helen declares her desire to eat such a pizza, and the nurse could only nod in agreement. Satisfied with the meal, the patient reclines and Robin wishes her good night. As she drifts off to sleep, Helen recalls the time when Michael pressured her to pay him back, stating that he and Karina needed the money. Helen hadn't given it much thought until her best friend informed her that she was pregnant and eagerly anticipating the arrival of the baby. The news of Karina's pregnancy shocked Helen, and in her fear of losing her friend and things changing, she lashed out, causing the pregnant woman to leave in tears. With Karina gone, Helen felt lost and contemplated ending her life. The moment brought back memories of her childhood when, on the night before the big dinner, she heard the sounds of baby Tony crying. Strangely, this time, the turkey in the oven was still breathing, which disturbed her deeply. Then, Helen wakes up in the middle of the night and shuffles over to Robin who's busy recording a song, reporting that she smells gas inside her room. Therefore, the nurse leaves his recorder and rushes to her room, but he smells nothing. Helen says that it was just a joke, angering the nurse. She then confesses that smelling phantom gas has been a recurring problem for her. However, the vulnerability doesn't register with Robin, and he bids her goodnight without much empathy. The cold dismissal hurts Helen deeply. The next day, Mr. Memel visits her and gives her a hemorrhoid cushion. As they talk, his daughter brings up his advancing age and jokes about her future inheritance. But suddenly, tears start falling down her face. She thanks her father for inflating the cushion, and Mr. Memel says he has to get back to work. The emotional woman admits that she doesn't know what her father's profession is, which surprises him, and he tells her that he's an engineer. She wonders if she should become an engineer too, and her father encourages her despite her poor grasp of mathematics. As soon as Mr. Memo leaves, Dr. Knotts enters the room and notices the cushion. He explains that it's only for people with untreated hemorrhoids and advises Helen not to use it, as it might re-injure her. Dr. Knotts then asks if her wound is bleeding. When Helen says no, he announces that it's time for her to be discharged. The patient protests, hoping to stay longer so that her parents can meet at the hospital. But the doctor insists that her recovery will be better at home. The insistent woman tries to bargain for an extra day, but the doctor says she can only stay if the wound is bleeding. When Dr. Knotts leaves, Helen sits forcefully on the cushion, hoping to reopen her injuries. However, it doesn't work, so she resorts to more drastic measures. After cleaning up any evidence, she climbs back into bed. When Robin walks in, Helen tells him that she moved a little weird. The nurse notices the blood and immediately rushes her out of the room. Rushing down the hallway, they run into Dr. Knott, who quickly orders an emergency surgery. While preparing for the operation, Helen urges Robin to call her parents, insisting that it's her last chance to reunite them. As the anesthesia takes effect, Helen falls into sleep and has a vivid flashback. She remembers the night before the big dinner when she went searching for the source of the baby's cries. She discovered her mother and Tony with their heads inside the oven with the running gas. Thankfully, Helen intervened before any serious harm was done. Soon after her successful operation, Helen has the hardest conversation she's ever had with Tony, revealing everything to him. Tony realizes that his bad dreams were related to the incident. On the day of Helen's discharge, she asks Valerie where Robin is. Valerie feigns ignorance, but they mention his recorder and wonders why it only plays static. Afterwards, Helen dashes out in the rain to find Robin, and they meet as he exits the hospital. She tells him that he's fortunate that they're both heading out, as he can take her home. However, Helen warns him to consider if that's something he truly wants. Instead of a verbal reply, he leans in and kisses her. As they leave, Helen's long awaited wish comes true. She witnesses her parents' chance encounter in the parking lot. However, she tells Robin to keep driving, uninterested in what might happen next.
Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.